Good morning from day two. Look at that view. All right, we're heading to City Walk. Go get us some breakfast at like 11.30 in the morning. But a massive cinnamon roll. Sounds amazing. The arshy blows, the main arches. Also, there's like two or three blown speakers here. Maybe from last night, so it sounds a little muffled. But here's your daytime view of the banners. get some voodoo donuts later but first I'm on a quest to get my Cinnabon got all the HHN merch whoever was in charge of the merchandise this year did a stellar job because it all looks awesome I love it I love these prints. These prints are awesome. We'll probably end up getting one or two of them before we leave. We're gonna go in the tribute store here though when we get inside the park here shortly. It's a shot glass. <laughs> Little wine bottles, yep, something like that. 16 bucks. Here's your freestyle cups this year. $18 and you gotta spend $10 a day to get it reactivated. Unlike last year where you just spent like 30 bucks and you got it all season. Really hope they bring that back. They got the lanyards from last year that they never sold with the big skull light, the amulet thing. That was a fail. Clownzilla was amazing in the haunted house. But how much for what, this? I'm gonna guess $20. $12, that's still kinda steep. These are nice, 10 bucks a piece. No, I do like them. It's not bad. Oh man, these are awesome. I like the House of a Thousand Corpses shirt, and I like the Scare Zone shirts too. I like the shirts. Everything is just 32 to $35, which is kind of an odd, very high number for a shirt. Even this little tank top is $35. They have the chips away at. Let me see. Oh, I don't want to mess up 20 bucks. Finally, Camp Nowhere. There you go. I like it. How much is that one? It is $28. That's got to be going mostly to Netflix or something. That's pretty steep, man, for a hat. Oh, it smells amazing in here. We got our Starbucks. The kids are eating. This guy's loving the cinnamon roll. Oh, man, it's a good day for HHN. All right, we're back at the main arches. We got our coffee and our Cinnabons. Let's go in here and check out some HHN daytime setup in the Tribute store. Just got in the gate. I don't remember seeing these speakers here last night, but I'm only assuming these are for Horror Nights. Amplified. Here's the entrance for Killer Clowns all covered up. And there's JoJo's ice cream truck. The clowns are out here during the day too. Or not during the day, I mean during the event. So you can do at least photo ops out here without having to go in the house. It's pretty cool. Here's Vanity Ball during the daytime. It's a completely different atmosphere during the day than at night, man. So in Vanity Ball, while well, it's not the tribute store, they do have the Universal Monster store over here. Or horror shop, there you go. Gonna stop on the pass holder lounge and see if we can get our HHN pens and magnets. Hopefully they're not out already. We did it, we got our kick ass. Uh, HHN magnets and buttons. Gonna go in the prop shop to see if there's anything for this year yet. Got a little bit. These I really like. They're like 17 bucks a piece. Let's see. Yes, 17 bucks. More of the Amulet of Fear lanyards from the big fail that was last year. 10 bucks. Zones. 
they have a cotton candy cocoon. Yep. Let's see. Killer clowns. Two hundred dollars. They also have a tentacle. This is awesome. I've seen in the scare zone from HHN 20 from the Day of the Dead scare zone. I love it. This is from 2015 from Run Blood Sweat and Fears. Here's another one of these. I like the way they look. Very cool. Here's the entrance for Marathon of Mayhem, which we're gonna have to check out tonight. We saw glimpses of it last night and it looked absolutely amazing. And this is the Viking Scare Zone. We didn't get to check this side of the park out last night, so we'll get to see it during the day and we'll see it tonight. lanterns and skulls all in the trees. Kind of miss the pumpkins, but it's kind of a good change too. Look at all this. The massive viking head. It's awesome. Cover for this one's coming off a little bit. Well, they're going to unwrap it in night. Yeah, so they got to cover it up. They brought all the food tents back that they quickly took down because of the hurricane. Most importantly tonight, we have got to try our s'mores fries. Heck yes. Got our two house entrances back here. It's gonna be real here in a couple hours. And they got more merch out here in front of Men in Black Shop. Peeking through the shrubs back there is House of a Thousand Corpses. Get to experience that bad boy tonight. Can't wait. Here's the entrance sign for it. it says it's a zero minute wait. Heck yes. More importantly, Academy of Villains Altered States. We get to check that out tonight too. Everyone's review so far is that it's a lot better this year compared to last year's show. Here's Hellbelly Deluxe. We didn't get to come through this one last night, so we get to check it out tonight. And word on the street is this is the zone of the year. Dragula. I think everybody wishes it was cold out here right now instead of 100 degrees. We're gonna come check out Palace Arcade. Rumor on the street is they got some pretty cool looking arcade stuff in here. Let's check it out. I'm already in love. This is amazing. They got all the classics. This is awesome, man. I wonder if they bought these or if they're just leasing them. My guess is they're leasing them. Invaders, heck yes. This is awesome. Like, whoever was in charge of merchandising this year nailed it. Are you the yeah, what does it say? Look, how to play, insert coins. The red button is the action button, the blue button is just a blue button. 
Got an Atari shirt. Very nice. We opted to get the regular universal mug that has the handle and the straw for the refilling drinking action versus the Horror Nights one because none of the Horror Nights ones come with straws or handle and it's just really annoying. It's like drinking coffee and we don't want to do that. So it's kind of a swing and a miss there, Universal. bad boy. I know for a fact not everything was operational last night because none of this was lit up and it's got lights all over it. So here's hoping that maybe after Horror Nights ended last night this will be done and lit up and they'll actually do their little stage show because they didn't do it last night at all. So hopefully tonight it's in full action mode. That'd be pretty cool. Look at the tribute store. Look at amazing as always. Really cool looking this year. Let's go in and do it. Oh, the AC. I feel like I'm walking into a haunted house. The air feels good. Oh man, look at Slimer right up there on top. Heck yeah. That is awesome. in your hand and the mouth, Jesus. These are cool. See the Slimer mask? It's awesome. Oh man, look, got Slimer now. <laughs> it's like kind of way too big for you. This cup is awesome. 20 bucks. So we have the slime on the inside. That thing's like as long as you are tall. Hold it up. You gonna put it on? What? Put it on. Well, that almost weighs as much as you. Put it on. I want to see if it'll even fit on you. Here. Heck yeah. So you can work here now. <laughs> By the way, that mask right here. Gonna run you a hundred bucks. I didn't realize they have the whole their outfits or uniforms. They got the marshmallows on them and everything. They did a good job with this. Yep, this house was so awesome. They got the US T-shirt, Clownzilla again, Killer Clowns popcorn. And very nice. Two stranger things are going into the upside down. Oh. All right, this is legit. They did good with this room. It's awesome. Pocketbooks and bags here. Seventy-nine bucks. Got all the drawings here. And this is awesome. This is like the best tribute store they've done. And there's a third room that we're gonna go into shortly. I don't know why this Ghostbuster shirt's here and not. In, oh, never mind. It's got Stranger Things on it, so that makes sense. I like this one how it has the the edging on it. Oh, I just dropped it. Fail. Here's the other HHN freestyle cup. See, it's like you're drinking coffee. I don't like it. And there's quite a bit of people in front of us getting the other regular universal freestyle cups that also agreed that this is kind of a dumb thing with no straws. So they opted for the regular universal one instead. You can get your new Coke. There's another store. Is there more? Yeah. All right.
right, let's go into the infamous new room three. Oh man. This is all the new part. Oh, it's Universal Monsters. Amazing. I like this. It says 28. It's not horrible. We're about to spend like a thousand dollars on merchandise before we leave here this weekend. Geraldine wants to get this and this for his and hers. I gotta agree. Kind of pricey, but I like them. I dig them. Okay, time to play everyone's favorite game. Guess that price. We got this bag. My guess is like 120. Let's see. What is it? What is it? What is it? 65 bucks. Wow, it's actually a lot more better than I thought it would be price-wise. I can't wait to go in this house tonight. We didn't get to do it last night. Awesome shirt though. They've also got the Frankenstein blanket. Got some other miscellaneous monster shirts and cups. Uh, the Tervis. Yes. How much is this? 25 bucks. I like it. Although they also have like random Us stuff. Universal Studios, but they have the Us t-shirt in here again. This is me daily. It's a monster. This is cool. You see inside? Uh, there's more of the cups, man. They're pushing these cups like crazy. They also have a black one that's all plastic outside. Got the carts. All the buttons. You can design your own t-shirt. I like it. Looks like it starts at $37. Alright. We've reached the end. It's time to put the bill, unfortunately. Geraldine's getting her two shirts. We've also got some goodies here. It's awesome. Are you getting a waffle sandwich? Head out. Got two shirts. They were $62 after tax and pass order discount. Kind of intense. The calm before the storm that is Saturday night for Halloween Horror Nights. The Yowzers. Yeah. All those barricades. That just looks gross. This is the backside of an arcade. Looks cool, man. All right, that does it for our merchandise trip. I'm gonna go back to the room, shower, and get ready for Horror Nights tonight. See you in the next video.